Yes, thank you, Council President. Good evening, everyone. I will make this brief. Um, it seems like the reports are getting longer and longer. <laughs> so by the time it gets back to, you know, to this side of the dais, it's like everyone is like, you know, zoned out. But first, I just want to say uh, thank you to Jeff Tando. He's a neighbor of mine. He's been doing a hell of a job in the city of Linden. I'm glad that we got that uh, acknowledgement and recognition uh, for tree, uh, Shade Tree USA. Um, keep on doing a great job. I know we could always count on you, and uh, you're definitely an expert in your field, and uh, I'm glad to have you as a neighbor. Also, I just want to acknowledge um, former Mayor uh, Richard Gabunka and also former Councilman Adam Kaczynski in the audience. It's great to see them here because they're still active in our community. Again, they hold a wealth of knowledge, and these are gentlemen that I still go to for assistance when it comes to um, laws and whatnot, when, you know, when I'm thinking of things of happening in, in, in the Ninth Ward. So it's always good to have a value resource close by, as well as my counterparts here in the dais. Um, just want to give a quick library report. As many of you heard or saw in the news a couple of weekends, weekends ago, we, we, we had a, <clears throat> an incident at our at library. Excuse me, at our library. Um, it, we had an individual that entered our library, went to the children's section. Unfortunately, uh, well, he decided to uh, expose himself and masturbate in front of children. Uh, we have four victims in that situation, but luckily uh, we have a great police department. We got a great detective bureau. They sent out the word, and we caught the guy. So uh, that that gentleman will be answering for his charges, and it's just disgusting that this could take place in this city. It could happen anywhere, but it took place here <laughs> in the city of Linden, especially in a library where you think your children are your children are safe, and uh, getting education, reading a book, and whatnot. So um, with that being said, I'm actually working with Councilman Brown. Uh, we already had the library slated for one camera, but we're in talks right now to add additional cameras to the library where, again, our police will have that data and uh, if any future occurrence of incidents that happens in our library, our police have uh, access to that footage and respond uh, quickly. So, but with that said, this world is not safe. I believe we do live in a great city. We have a great police department. We have great people, neighbors, a community. We keep an eye on each other, and let's continue to keep an eye on each other and make phone calls. If you see something weird, you know, if you see something, say something. So I encourage everyone to do that. If you see something weird, call it in. Don't act, uh, don't act upon it, but call the proper authorities to um, address the issue. So, but we did attend the meeting, uh, Councilwoman uh, Hickey and the mayor, we did attend the library board meeting. We expressed our concern, some a little more aggressively than others. <laughs> But, um, you know, there's issues, and we're working together as a community to address those issues and ensure the safety of our children. So, again, it was a bad publicity, and it's a bad thing that happened in the city of Linden, and I hope those uh, four victims uh, could recover from um, being exposed to that, inc to that incident. Um, now to the Ninth Ward. I know I have a lengthy tree list and sidewalk. Uh, I'm working with DPW. I know our tree shade commissioner is here. I'm sorry, some of them have to come down. They're dead. But um, uh, DPW is working aggressively to attack all of our tree problems. Engineering sent me the list for our sidewalks. I'm hoping to have them completed this year. Um, so just be patient. And I know we have, again, we have the gas company upgrading the lines and whatnot. So it's a little bit of a mess. But again, with patience, let the process take place. And at the end, when the dust settle, we'll have some nice, beautiful new trees, sidewalks, and hopefully some missing trees and some new trees planted in this place. Uh, with that being said, <clears throat> I say it every time of the year when school's uh, about to let go, be safe, drive safe, leave 10 minutes early, keep the children in mind when you're on the road, anywhere you go, anywhere you travel, keep that in the back of your mind. With that being said, that concludes my report. Thank you.